This video is created by Jagrat Creations. This video is useful to the students who are reading for inter IPCC. It is also useful to the students who are reading for BCom and who has corporate accounting as a subject. This video is also useful to the professional courses like CS Executive and ICWA because it's about amalgamation of companies. Now I want to solve one sum here before you which is on amalgamation of companies. Look at the sum on the screen. Now this is the sum. You can pause the video and read the sum, but let me start. The balance sheet of Hira and Moti company as on 31st of part 2016 are given below. This is the balance sheet of Hira Limited. This is the balance sheet of Moti Limited. Moti Limited, there is a debit balance of profit and loss account. Here there is a preliminary expenses. Here 12% debentures are there. Here there are no debentures. It was decided to establish a new company, Hira Moti Limited, on 1st of April 2016 to carry out amalgamation of both the companies, of both the above companies, the main conditions of amalgamation were as under. So these are the conditions for Hira Limited. These are the conditions for Moti Limited. Goodwill of the company means Hira Limited. Goodwill of the company was to be calculated twice the total profit of past three years. So what is the value of goodwill? Total profit of past three years multiplied by two is the value of goodwill. The average profit for the last three years is 2500. Now you are given the average profit of 3 years. That is 2500. So 2500 into 3. 7500 is the total profit. Now this is the total profit of 3 years. Double thereof is the value of goodwill. So 15,000 should be the value of goodwill. Book value of land and building is 20% less than the market value. Land and building were to be taken up at the market price. So we are required to find out the market value and will be recorded while calculating the purchase consideration, purchase price. Investment except that of 1500 and cash are not to be taken. This is a very important adjustment. Generally, its interpretation is crucial that I am going to explain while solving this sum. Dators require, pro require provision of 10% for bed debt reserve. Claim of 500 is accepted by the company against workman compensation fund, which will be paid by Hira Moti Limited. In future, purchase consideration was to be discharged in the following way. Equal number of new companies' equity shares at a price of rupees 16 per share is to be given. Here the, the exchange price, the price of purchaser, the share price of the purchaser is rupees 16. But what is the face value of the share? The face value of the share you can find here the purchase consideration to be discharged in the form of 1500 equity shares of prior niche of Hira Moti Limited. So the face value is 10. So here the share is given at a price of 60. 10 is the face value. 6 is the premium. Notice it. 10% new companies debenture to be debentures. 10% new companies debentures to the debenture holders of old company in such a manner that the debenture holders of the old company do not sustain any interest loss in future. So whatever the interest is being earned on 10,000 at the rate of 12%, same interest should be earned by the debenture holders after granting the debenture claim in the new company. The balance amount is to be paid in cash. When the balance amount is to be paid in cash, so purchase price is to be determined by net asset method. So total net assets will be worked out. 
on the basis of that balance amount paid in cash will be worked out for Muthi Limited machinery to be valued 10% more all other assets and liabilities are to be taken at the book value purchase consideration is to discharge in the form of 1500 shares of rupees 10 each of Hira Muthi company at a market price of 16 the balance in cash here also the balance in cash Past necessary journalities in the books of Hiramuthi Limited and prepare the balance sheet as on 1 for 2016. Show your calculation. Here I am going to prepare the balance sheet as per Schedule 3. Notice it. Now let me prepare the working wherein I will work out the net assets. On the basis of net assets, miss, missing cash to be paid to each company will be worked out. Let me start. Here I am going to work out the net assets. Here I am going to record the payments. The missing payment cash will be worked out over here. This is one note, this is another note. Goodwill of the company was to be calculated. Twice the total profit of past three years. Average profit of last three years is 2500. Look at the working note that I have prepared. That goodwill is equal to two years total profit of past three years. Two times the total profit of past three years. So total profit of past three years is equal to average profit multiplied by three. So two into 2500 into three, 15,000 is the value of goodwill. So goodwill is purchased at a price of 15,000 by Hiramoti Limited. So this first point is over. Next point, very important. Book value of land and building is 20% less than the market value. Land and building is to be taken up at market price. This is the details given in the sum. I present the sum on the screen and take one point at a time and solve it. So book value is equal to, book value of land and building is equal to 20% less than market value. 20% less than market value means book value is equal to 80% of market value. So book value 40,000 is equal to 80% of market value. So 40,000 divided by 80% is the market value. So market value works out to be 50,000. So land and building purchased at a price of 50,000. Next. Very important adjustment. Investment except that of 1500 are not to be taken. Look at its interpretation. This is the adjustment that I want to consider. Investment except that of 1500 are not to be taken. Total investments if you look at 5000. So 5000 are the total investment. Investment except 1500 are not to be taken. So out of 5000, except 1500, so 3500 are not purchased. And 1500 investments are purchased. This is the interpretation of this. So investment except 1500 are not purchased. So 3500 are not purchased. 1500 are purchased. So I will record investment. 1500 purchased. The another important point that and cash are not taken. So cash not taken. So I mark cash with red color which I am not going to take while preparing the net assets for Hira Limited. Now the statement is made complete. Debtors require 10% provision for bad debt results. So debtors are 10,000. I am sorry, debtors are 5,000, debtors are 5,000, 10% there of 500 is the provision required. So 5,000 minus bad debt is of 500. A claim of 500 is accepted by the company against the workman compensation fund. So liability assumed by the new company for workman compensation 500 and that is to be paid in future. So at present liability purchased at 500. Now, other assets, machinery taken at 20,000, stock 10,000, debtors done, investment done, cash not taken, preliminary expenses cannot be taken. Look at the liability side, creditors are purchased. For debentures, there is an important statement given in the sum. 
this is the payment details given to you now first of all i'll consider the exchange of equity shares equal number of new companies equity share at a price of 16 per share so what are the number of shares for hira limited so 50000 divided by 10 5000 shares are there equal number of shares are given at a price of 16 so 5000 shares equal number of shares are given so 5000 shares are given at a price of 16 face value is 10 as i told you so 5000 into 10 and security premium is 5000 into 6 so this is the payment made at the by issue of equity shares now 10% new debentures 10% new companies debentures to the debenture holders of old company in such a manner that the debenture holders of the old company do not sustain any interest loss in future they are getting interest at the rate of 12% on 10000 so interest on debentures of vendor company should be equal to interest on debentures of the purchaser company So twelve percent into ten thousand should be equal to ten percent of X amount. So one thousand two hundred divided by ten percent, that is X. So debentures, twelve percent debentures are purchased at a price of twelve thousand. So this is the exchange value of liability that I record. Here I write deliberate write twelve percent. I am going to write the entry. of conversion of 12% debentures into 10% debentures later on balance amount is paid in cash so here I, here i'll work out the net assets total of assets 1,1500 minus 21000 this is the purchase price from this purchase price payment is made by equity shares at the instance of equity share 80000 Balance paid in cash. How much amount? Eighty thousand five hundred minus eighty thousand five hundred cash paid. This is how the purchase details are recorded for Hira Limited. Now I want to prepare same type of working for Muti Limited. So this is the purchase conditions given for Muti Limited. This is the balance sheet of Muti Limited. Machinery to be valued ten percent more. Other assets and liabilities are to be taken at book value. Machinery is ten thousand, ten percent increase. Machinery purchased at a price of eleven thousand. Other assets taken at book value: land and building fifteen thousand, stock eight thousand book value, debtors five thousand, cash six thousand, profit and loss account debit balance cannot be purchased. Creditors deducted. from assets provident fund being liability deducted from assets general is given shareholders fund share capital that you can't purchase now purchase consideration is to be discharged in form of 1500 shares of rupees 10 each market price is 16 so equity share given 1500 into 10 security premium this is the payment made by issue of equity shares now let me find out the net assets total of assets minus liabilities 25000 balance paid in cash 25000 minus 24000 1000 paid in cash this is how the purchase calculation and the payment purchase price calculation and the payment made there against is worked out now i want to write down the journal entries in the books of purchaser very simple business purchase account debit 80500 to liquidator of hira limited account credit being business of hira limited purchased and payment due to the liquidator that's a narration goodwill account debit then comes land and building account debit Investment account debit, debtors account debit, machinery debit, stock debit, twelve percent debentures account credit, creditors credit, budget reserve, and workman compensation fund are credited, five hundred each. Being assets and liabilities, 
purchased. That's why business purchase account is credited. Now the payment is to be made to liquidator. Liquidator of Hira Limited account debit to equity share capital to security premium to cash. This is the entry made for payment. Now these 12% debentures are converted into 10% debentures. 12% debentures of vendor account debit. Vendor means Hira Limited. To 10% debentures of purchaser that is Hira Muthi Limited 12,000. This is the debenture conversion entry. These are the four entries recorded on the basis of this purchase consideration that we have worked out. Now I want to write down the journal entry for purchase of business of Muthi Limited. Business purchase account debit to liquidator of Bhuti Limited, land and building account debit, debtors account debit, machinery account debit, stock account debit, cash account debit, two creditors, two provident fund to business purchase. Now the payment entry is to be recorded. Liquidator of Bhuti Limited account debit to equity share capital to security premium to cash or bank account. These are the three entries recorded on the basis of this working. Now after recording all this entry, I want to prepare a balance sheet in the books of purchase. Here I prepare notes on accounts. These are the titles with which the notes are prepared. Goodwill intangible assets. Land and building, you have to merge for both the companies. So 50 plus 15, 65. Then comes investment, non-current investment. Then comes data for both the companies, 5,000 plus 5,000 minus. But that is how 9,500 is to be recorded here. Then machinery total of both the companies. That is 20 plus 11, 31,000. Stock, 10,000 plus 8,000, 18,000. Then capital, 50,000 plus 15,000, 65,000, share of 10 each. Total security premium, 39,000, 30,000 plus 9,000. For cash balance, I have purchased cash of 6,000. Made a payment of 1,000, made a payment of 500. So 6,000 minus 1,000 minus 500, that will be my cash balance. So 6,000 minus 1,000 minus 500. 4,500. 12% debentures are converted into 10% debentures. Here I should write 10%. It's wrong. 12% is wrong. 10%. Creditors, Workman Compensation Fund, Provident Fund. Now this is notes on accounts. Now I want to prepare the balance sheet. These are the titles as per Schedule 3. Share Capital. Security premium, 10% debenture, this is correct. Here also it should be 10%, remember it. 10% debentures, provident fund, they are known as long term provisions, creditors, trade payables, tangible assets, goodwill, intangible asset, non current assets investment, then comes inventory stock. Debtors, cash and cash equivalents have a total of equity and liabilities and assets. The total should agree. It works out to be 144,500. This is how the sum gets solved. This is an amalgamation. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed. Thanks to all of you. These are the journal entries that we have recorded while solving the sum. Just observe at one place. I have not recorded narration that you can write off your own. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all.